Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK into your homes. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to subscribe, you're welcome to like, and you're also welcome to hit the down button if you don't like what I talk about. Um, today, um, I don't know if you get those news releases on your phone, but I got one today. No, I got it yesterday. And it was set, the headline read, Jewish family were, who were kicked off a flight for having extremely offensive body odour are suing American Airlines for discrimination. Now, the first thing that came to my mind is why did they emphasise that they were Jewish? Did it really matter what religious affiliation they belonged to? Anybody... Anybody with that kind of odour, if people are complaining, I would assume they would treat them the same way. I think the fact that they put Jewish in the title, it, it's, it creates um, division and it makes it look like um, Jewish, you know, indirectly, it's, it's sending a negative message and it's not necessary. Why can't they just put in the headlines, family of three um, unable to board a plane because of body odour, offensive body odour and complaints. But the thing is, the reason why they're suing is not because the American Airlines um, booted them off of the plane because of the offensive odour. It's because the gate agent said Orthodox Jews only wash once a week. Now he's cost the American Airlines goodness knows how much money because that is where the discrimination comes in. And it's not necessary. You know, yesterday I went to TK Maxx and um, as I was looking at the shoes, this waft of perspiration went past me and I thought, my God, she stinks. It was rank. And she was there with her husband and her child. And I thought to myself, doesn't he smell it? Now, she just happened to be Muslim. Well, yeah, she happened to be Muslim, you know, with all the garb on. But my point is, when I thought about it, I thought, I wonder if she's going to try on clothes. And then when I saw this article, I wonder if, if she'd gone into the changing room to try on clothes and they told her that she smelt or that she, I don't know how you, I don't know how you put it nicely, that you got a body odor or that you, you smell of perspiration. I don't know how you do that in a polite way. Would she have sued them or said they were discriminating against her? I mean, I think some people, they really don't know how they smell. I remember when I was at college, and it was an adult college, and there was a lot of people in the classroom, and there was one girl, it was a black girl, and she was sitting in the front of the class, and everybody was going like this. Nobody would sit next to her. She didn't have a clue. I don't understand how you can't smell yourself, but she didn't have a clue. And I thought to myself, me being me, I've got to say something because it's unfair for her that people are not sitting beside her. She doesn't know why she's being isolated, but it was almost the same smell that I smelled yesterday. Really, really high perspiration smell. And, um, and she, I'm sure she washed every day, but some people... Anyway, I just called her one side and I said, you know, um, I bought you some deodorant. I said, you know, this is an embarrassing thing for me to have to do, but I'm speaking to you from one sister to another. But, you know, you do smell of perspiration and people are talking about it. So I just thought, you know, I'd let you know. And she was so grateful. She, she could have cussed me and said, what you're talking about, are you telling me I stink? She could have said a whole lot. She could have reacted in a lot of different ways. But what I'm saying is a lot. some people that smell like that, their, their nose must be immune to it or something. So I can understand if they got on that flight 
and it smelled. But he had no business, the gate attendant had no business telling um, the family that they hear that Orthodox Jews wash once a week. That is out of order. All they had to do was pull them one side and say, um, I'm ever so sorry, but, you know. It's, but how do you tell people that? It's so embarrassing. You'd like to think that people can smell themselves. It's such a dodgy one. That is really, really dodgy. Um, how would you deal with it? Put your comments down below and let me know. If you... No, but, <laughs> And don't but a nice way of talking about it, not oh you stink or anything like that. A positive way of handling that kind of situation so we can all learn from it and probably um, use it if we need it in the future. So yeah, any suggestions you have, that would be great. Um, what else did I want to say? I think that's it really. So, make sure you go like before you leave your yard okay because you never know who's out there smelling you okay then take care now bye bye